At time, I was drugged at age five and a half. Until I was almost 10 years old, my family, which then consisted of five, including myself, lived on Wisteria Drive in North Little Rock, Arkansas. I was homeschooled but got to play with the neighborhood children during the summer and sometimes after they got home from school. For a time, my parents wouldn't allow me to play in the backyard during school hours when it was in session as they were worried the truancy people might be called or something like that. Keep in mind this was 1993 and homeschooling was illegal in at least some states well into the 1980s. Anyway, one of the kids I would play with was called TJ. I don't remember what the initials stood for, but I do remember he lived alone with his mother in the house directly across the street from us. Her name was Andrea, and in the summers he was joined by a half-sister named Ashley, who for some reason did not live with her mother most of the time. We would ride bikes together, and I would attempt to pop wheelies. Sometimes we would ride down the three stairs of one neighbor's porch, and think we were pretty cool for doing so. Sometimes we played inside or would watch a VHS tape in his room. One I remember watching with him was The Karate Kid, although I recall barely anything of the plot. They had a trampoline in the backyard and a rock garden, as one of Andrea's boyfriends called it. Anyway, one day I went over there to play, and I believe several other children were there. At the least, TJ, and I'm pretty certain his sister, Ashley. Inside, there were several adults, plus Andrea and her boyfriend. They gave us drinks and red solo cups and allowed us to choose. If memory serves me, I picked Dr. Pepper, as soda was a rare treat in my household, and TJ picked Hawaiian Punch. I'm not positive of this, but I believe he ended up giving me some of his drink as well for some reason. We went outside to play on the trampoline, and I remember jumping on it for a while and then feeling dizzy and moving to the small trampoline that served as a step up to the big one. It was about three feet in diameter. I laid on it and possibly fell asleep. I believe one of the adults may have mentioned I should go home, so I did. I walked across the street and told my mother something to the effect of I wasn't feeling well. She told me to sit on the couch and went to the kitchen to wrap up what she was doing. I don't recall doing this, but I apparently walked back across the street. Long story shortish, she ended up taking me to the emergency department at Arkansas Children's Hospital that evening due to my odd behavior. A while back, I requested my medical records from them, the ones that have the actual notes the professionals write about you, and the following is from those records. Quote, 6-24-1993, social work note. 12 a.m. referral, received consult from ED to assess five-year-old ingestion brought in by mom. History, by, by mom and patient's report, five-year-old white female patient spent all afternoon playing at neighbor's house where family reunion was in progress. At approx 6 p.m. tonight, patient returned home complaining had headache. Mom instructed her to sit still and cool off, thinking she had gotten hot playing. Mom went into kitchen, and when she came back into living room, patient had gone back to neighbor's house. Mom assumed that she was feeling better and ready to play again. Around 7 p.m., patient began acting strange, and neighbor informed parents. Patient stated that she became dizzy and her head flopped around after she drank a soda from a glass offered to her and another child by the neighbor. She became increasingly dizzy and had slurred speech and poor coordination. Mom then brought patient to ED where benzodiazepine was discovered in her system. Assessment. Patient is extremely verbal and gives consistent accounts of events. Mom very appropriate and cooperative, becoming tearful at times and blaming herself for not watching her close enough. Per test results, I also had ETOH, alcohol, in my system. I was kept at the hospital for probably six hours minimum, during which time I was forcibly held down while a, tube, while a tube was inserted down my throat and charcoal injected into my stomach so that I would vomit. I remember fighting back in the absence of my mother because she couldn't stand to watch. Upon arriving home, per my mother, the, the neighbors had visited my father while we were at the ED and said that it was an accident and that I had been given a drink meant for an adult. 
To my knowledge, no social worker ever visited our house nor the house across the street. As an adult looking back on this, I wonder if it was really an accident. I wonder if any of the other kids were drugged, and if so, what else may have happened to them that night. I remember talking to TJ a few times about running away and living in a treehouse together, and I wonder if it was just kids playing pretend or if there was another reason he talked about escaping into the trees. I have tried to find him recently by looking up tax records, and I succeeded at finding his mother's name, but got no fervor. I'm relatively sure I'll try again.